you know, when you have a large scale natural disaster, um, we typically measure these disasters in terms of an economic loss or some sort of measurable loss like a uh, number of lives, number of homes, um, but, but what it doesn't capture is it doesn't capture the actual impact. What we've realized is that when you, when you really uh, dig down into you know, what happens after a large disaster, you find out that um, there are all sorts of issues. Uh, you know, some of the things we found out, uh, Qualcomm, for example, was uh, you know, paying to replace all the air filters uh, in you know, just a, a massive number of facilities they have. Um, the Navy spent a million and a half dollars in cleanup and response costs in 2007. Uh, you know, and then you start tallying up all of these sort of smaller costs, and you get to a number that, uh, which surprised us, was about two and a half billion dollars in, in economic loss after after the 2003 wildfires. Less than two percent of of the actual loss, the economic loss, was was fire suppression. And so that was what was really surprising, you know, and you say, well, you know, to suppress the fires in 2003, it was $43 million. That's a lot of money, um, you know, and so when we, when we uh, did the analysis, we weren't expecting numbers that high. But you think about, well, what happens when you shut down the city of San Diego for, you know, a couple of days, which in essence is kind of what happened. You, know, you close down our cities, you close down our airport, you close down the ports, uh, and you realize how many delayed or canceled flights there were, what the tourism impact was, what, you know, the impact to business loss was from from just a purely uh, economic standpoint um, I mean we're talking about you know you think about 2003 two and a half billion dollars uh, 2007 we're probably along the same order of, of, of costs um, you keep adding in you know these costs and you look at our state budget and 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 you can you know you can identify where these things have, have gone to and you wonder why we are in the in the position we are today um, you know I mean it's it's multiple factors but uh, you know had we had we had the foresight to invest and, and avoid and and you know have contingencies and, and funds set aside to uh, you know deal with the situation effectively um, you know, and support CAL FIRE and, and, you know, the other fire resource agencies the way we should, um, things might not be as grim as they, they, they are now.